Hi folks, Puffin here with the Fairy Liberation Front and a fairy ring for October 21st, 2022. I drew a picture of TikTok and I said as I'm drawing it, it's going to be a magical picture. There's going to be a magical change. And Liz Truss resigned as Prime Minister of England, a shortest serving Prime Minister, I think four weeks. Um, anybody could have seen that coming, so you could say that's not too magical. But one thing that makes it a fairy ring, um, the last time I did this, uh, the Sri Lankan president, ran so it i mean i'm always doing magic to end fascism i'm really looking forward to when it comes closer to home that when the ring tightens and uh, ends up in moving us post putin post trump but a fairy ring about this is there was a report from evan osnos um, who wrote an article for the new york times but he was on npr last night talking about guang wen Gui, who was a chinese uh businessman from Beijing, uh, Trump of Beijing, who came and funded MAGA World and helped Steve Bannon and put a lot of this propaganda out there, this Trumpy lies and propaganda. So he was instrumental in that um, from the Chinese uh, community or, you know, influencing the Chinese community, which also spilled over into um, influencing English-speaking uh, online communities. And he sold ivermectin t-shirts, all this stuff. Well, one of the details they mentioned about him is that when he first came to America, he had a letter of recommendation from Tony Blair, who was the ex-British prime minister. And I think it's interesting how all these people are doing this to for their own uh, power and each other's power, but they're all signing on to the same cabal of evil. And... They're, you know, they're just putting their names on it um, in this way. So for Tony Blair to be indicted in this, even though no one's like charging him with anything, but you know, to be someone who was instrumental in building MAGA World here, um, and for Liz Truss to have to resign, and hopefully they'll have a general election there and they'll get a real leader who's for the people instead of the power. Thank you.